This is SAT test 3, non-calculator question number 9. College Board gives us a system of equations and asks, for what value of k will this system have no solution? If a system has no solution with linear equations, that means the lines are parallel, same slope. If College Board instead asks infinitely many solutions, the lines are the same line, again, same slope. Either way, you're looking for the same slope, and that will help you to answer questions involving either no solution or infinitely many solutions. For simplicity, I'm going to put these in slope-intercept form. That's not necessary, but it's the easiest way to see what we're doing. kx minus 3y equals 4. Subtract kx from both sides. Negative 3y equals negative kx plus 4. Divide by negative 3. y equals negative k over negative 3 is k over 3. x minus 4 over 3. Take the second equation. 4x minus 5y equals 7. Subtract 4x from both sides. Negative 5y equals negative 4x plus 7. Divide by negative 5. Y equals negative 4 over negative 5 is positive 4 fifths x plus 7 fifths. I forgot to divide the 7 by negative 5, so it's negative 7 fifths. And as I said, these have no solution if the slopes are the same. That gives us k over 3 equals 4 over 5. I could cross multiply and then divide by 5. That gives me 5k equals 4 times 3 is 12. Divide by 5, k equals 12 over 5. Or I could just multiply both sides by 3. 3 over 3 is 1, so k equals 3 times 4 is 12 over 5. For many of us, we're so comfortable with cross multiplying fractions that we'll want to go that route first and then get k by itself. We divide by 5. But both methods provide you with the correct answer. College Board will ask you six questions on systems of equations during your SAT. So you want to be proficient with all the options for systems of equations, including the condition that gives you either no solution or infinitely many solutions, which is same slope. You also want to practice on this in particular, and College Board has many examples of this to build your familiarity. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.